All right, well, a lot of people have asked me what case I use to store my knives in. So I figured I'd answer that question because that's like the most asked question in my knife collection video. <laughs> um, it is actually a Pelican case. If we can spin it around here. A Pelican 1450. That's just the model I decided to choose. They make these in a bunch of different sizes, but 1450 I figured was the best size for me. Um, got this off Amazon for about, I think it was 80 when I originally bought it. Um, I was just on it, they were going for like 100. I'll put the link in the description if you want to take a look at them. Um, they're really, really good cases. Uh, made in the USA, as you see here. See, right there, made in the USA, if you can read it. Probably can't. Whatever, doesn't matter, don't care. Um, really heavy duty cases. These things are a beast. Um, they got a pressure release valve on them, so if you get them in water, it will equalize the pressure. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, they're like the waterproof, um, made of a heavy duty, I think it's like a polymer, it's some sort of hard plastic. Um, the latches on these things are just stupid heavy duty. I mean, you can tell just by popping these things open. They're, they mean business. They got a double, uh, whatever you call this, I don't know, I'm stupid. I don't know what it's called, but when you try and wrench these things down, you almost got to put your whole weight into them. It kind of sounds like a gunshot going off. But you open up the case, as you can see, mine is <laughs> massively filled. Um, you don't have to use these for storing knives, though, because a cool feature about these things is that the uh, the foam, they, they call it pick and pluck. And I'll kind of show you how that works here. So I find for knives, um, picking out a 1x3 section is about good for fitting most most folders, basically any folder, unless it's like a massive one. So you just kind of go around, kind of perforate the edges, just like so. And I'll kind of stick my finger down and just break it all the way down. Kind of grab, wiggle out, section you don't need. And there you go, it's that simple. Um, there are these little, like, what is it, half inch, or maybe like third inch by third inch squares. They just come apart really easy. But I haven't had any issues with them tearing through on me. Um, like I said, I do it about, like, I'll do a 1x3 section, and I'll, you know, skip two, and another 1x3. I could probably do just, you know, every other one, and I could store more knives. I just, I wanted the extra room, you know, just because. And it keeps it really symmetrical. I mean, I find for pens a single, single piece. I mean, look how easy that is. You can just customize it for whatever. And that's what's nice about these, too, is that um, you can put whatever you want in here. And they sell the foam inserts. Um, separate so and um, I haven't bought a separate insert but you know you can you can buy them um, and you could have let's say an insert for all your knives but then if you want one for let's say a gun like well I was gonna pull out my Glock but then I'm like I'm not gonna do that on camera right now shoot my foot off um, if you wanted to have this as a gun case you could use the same case since the case is pretty expensive and not expensive for what it is but you know, it's 100 bucks. You don't necessarily have to buy another $100 case. Just buy another, I think it's like 20 or $30 for the foam insert. Um, Repick it out to how you want it. You know, put your gun in there. And then when you're done, you know, go into the range, just swap the foam back out. You know, it makes it really easy. Let's put a Microtech in there. Um, slight issue is, it, let's put a pen in there. There we go. Um, I'm out of room. <laughs> I need to buy another case because I still have, I still got more knives hanging around. I haven't got room in there for them. So... Yeah, Mr. Man's kind of went on a buying spree now. I got, like, in the last couple months, like, this whole row has been bought. And these are, like, all autos. I mean, it's, like, it's kind of stupid. I got a little bit of an addiction. And there's more knives I want to buy. But I got to update my collection because all this stuff, we can talk about all this stuff someday. I just got to show off my autos. I love autos. Michigan, thank you for legalizing them. I'm like a happy camper. Dang it, safety. There we go. But yeah, so, just decided to make a quick video on this. Oh, this ain't an auto. This is a Delica. Awesome knife. Awesome knife. Um, yeah, just decided to make a quick video on it. Answer a question. This is a Pelican case. Like I said, they make a bunch of different sizes. Um, and the TSA approved too, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, and you can padlock them because they got metal reinforced locking points there, which is just awesome. I mean, these things scream quality. You can see the massive O-ring on the inside. I'm sure there's a test where like, they put them through bombs and stuff, but I ain't going to do anything quite that rash. But yeah, if you want to check it out, like I said, I'll put the link in the description. Um, I, I'll link it probably to the black one, but they make them in like black, gray. I think they got like a yellow and then the tan. 
Um, I'll probably buy another black one because, uh, you know, don't need a bunch of tan cases. And so I can tell which one's which. Anyway, take care. Hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day, night, slash evening, slash wherever the hell you are in the United States or America or Canada or Australia. I've got to watch this in Australia. Take care.